everyone. This is Kitten and Becca with the Houston Public Library from Mancuso Neighborhood Library. And welcome to HPL Gaming. Let's play. Uh, this is going to be a blind let's play. Um, this is a single, pl single player game. What? Yes. I can't play? No. So why no. am I here? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be commentating. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Um, I will be playing the the game. I I personally love playing games. I have never played this game before. Um, have you ever seen this game being played? Um, I have watched my husband play it. I am not a big PS4 gamer, more of a PC gamer. Sims is my game. I, I just struggle with the controls a lot, the camera, okay. and then to talk, it's just a lot for me. Okay. But I like to watch. Okay. Well, we're going to get right into this game. We're going to go watch this intro. So, that, let's... That music, I love that music. It is very beautiful. He's, Graphics are beautiful in this. Yeah, he's like a Viking, but not really. Yes. Wow. Detail is beautiful. Mm -hmm. like the cold. And today, we have a ritual to perform, you and I. It's like you go back in time with this like first part of it. That's really, really cool. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? So apparently that's not his child? No. Okay. Because he, he said something that it, it belonged to his daughter, but that's... Yeah, the necklace. It would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But I feel. We are outcasts. I feel and like so that's weird. We keep the tribe's rituals. Like, if you had a mother. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. So these ruins are but beautiful. Their wickedness doomed them. To us. Or left the splendors of creation. So it kind of has like a Beasts dystopian air, water, future. It's like, oh, okay. So these machines are wild. They look like wild creatures. You that, went from like a total natural. That was almost thing. like a Jurassic Park move right there. Yeah, it was. It was. And it's weird because like these seem like they're. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another. On the machine. You like they have their own program, like AI. Respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. So that whole sequence of like natural, natural, natural ruins and then tech, it's like we have like a future kind of video game, so it's like dystopian, futuristic, but natural. It's kind mm -hmm. of hard to tell where it starts timeline wise. So maybe this could be a future for us. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Hi, Matriarch Tirsa. What is she doing here? Does she mean to forbid the ritual? And they said he's an outcast, right? Uh, yeah. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go!
Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! That's a very, uh, Lion King moment right there. Mm-hmm. Like, even, like, the and little... So her name like, across the forehead. Blessed. Rafiki! Stop this at once! What have you done? She looks familiar to me. The of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? <laughs> Why does she what look familiar? She about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. Who does she look to like to us? I'm trying to remember. Enough. And you. Power Rangers. Like I know my duty to them. <laughs> and to you. Without Rita from the Power Rangers, the original one, remember? <laughs> Wherever you go, I will follow. Aww, that's such a cute fatherly moment. Oh, hey, now we're back where we started. I like that. Yeah, I think it was really pretty. Yeah, and see, yeah, she did. She did look like Rita Repulsa from the Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Lives on okay. in primitive tribes or something. <laughs> Six years later. Oh, she's so cute. Together, aren't you, little past? Now go and see if you can find some mom. Hmm? She doesn't have any markings on her face. Like, I know she got that one blessing one at the beginning, but like everybody else seems to have them except for well, her. Then, that's, a good that's true. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. She's, She's just, just a kid. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. This is part of the, the intro. I remember this part from the tro the testing phase that I did. Okay. That was a hard fall. Yes. <laughs> now, in most cases, if a child had fallen down the well, like Timmy, <laughs> you know, Lassie would have gone and gotten him, but. I don't think he can hear you. You're kind of underground, he girly. Hear me. You see, she heard you. Some kind of cave? Yes. So, our... Um, okay. Now. <laughs> Ugh. There were rats down here. Well, you shouldn't have been running and fell. Isn't that what they do? No. Okay. Oh, okay. The bat scared me. <laughs> The Let's bats are try. loud. But I can get through. Okay. Okay. Crouch. Toggle to crouch. Uh, this must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Okay. Hello. So it looks like an underground structure of some sort. I feel like it's a subway. I mean, that's what I keep thinking. It's places. like a subway. But I have to find a way out. What is this? There's a lot of what is a stalactites? Stalactites. Stalac stalactites. Okay. And stalagmites. Do you know the difference? Stalag. The, the spelling. Oh, well, like <laughs> why are they two different things? Stalactites go up. Stalagmites go down. Yes. 
because they hold on tight to the ceiling. Stalactite. What's that? Okay. <laughs> just a just a fun fact for you there. Oh. Uh, that's a corpse. And she's getting uh, right up close and personal to that. That's not social distancing, people. She's not staying six feet away. Um, you do not just grab things off of other people, especially when they are deceased. Life hack number one. <laughs> Life hack number two. If it's futuristic technology, you don't just put it up on yourself like that. I mean, haven't we seen enough Terminator movies? You just, you don't do that. This is pretty cool, though. It is. Lights. Everywhere. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more from HPL, follow us on social media. Check out our craft, STEM, and storytime videos by visiting our Facebook page. Until next time!